Welcome back, everyone! Welcome back to Let's Play Medieval 2! Uh, I'm like Shadow, and uh, we're here at the Professor's lab, except the Professor doesn't seem to be here. Strangely enough. <clears throat> Very odd. What the hell is going on, Winston? Oh, you're not even going to tell me? Oh, thanks! What a waste of space. Is that... Is a chalice up there? What the hell is going on, folks? That Doors are open? What is going on? Oh, that one's not open, actually. That one is. Professor? What in the world? Dad! Dad! Not a moment too soon! Palethorn is launching an all-out attack! Kier says he's made some giant monster that will crush us all! Our only hope is to make our own! And using Kier's embalming knowledge, I think we can! In fact, I already have the head, but I need limbs! Limbs, Dan! I don't care what you've got to do to get them! We must get limbs! <laughs> Now's no time to be squeamish, Fortescue! Just bring me the limbs one at a time! Place them on the slab, and we'll build a monster of our own! I am going to give you a heads up right now. This can be a bit tight doing this. Apparently, we're making a a monster. Let's read this. We're just going to figure out what the hell's going on here. How will give research news? My experiment's been a partial success, so I have managed to reanimate a number of body parts. Unfortunately, they tend to mutate into ghastly creatures that are quite beyond my control. And forced to release them to forever own searching for food in the bowels of the London Underground. What the hell? I'm afraid to say that at this point my research has reached a dead end. So this is the 23rd, so this is. Well, about a week after. Well, actually, it's a while after. Since her arrival, Kia has been helping with my experiments. Her knowledge of Egyptian embalming techniques has led me to believe that great progress can be made. Whilst Fortescue is out saving the world, I have been making the final touches to a machine that I am convinced we able to create a fully formed human specimen? What is this? Bloody Frankenstein or something? Well, apparently we got to go get some limbs, so... Yeah, let's go get some there. Now, what you do is you see now this door's open. <laughs> now, there are a variety of limbs all over the joint. However, the problem you will have is that, yeah, you've got these monsters here which are the remnants of uh, Kif's experiments here. And you need to kill these. Ow. Bear in mind, they hurt. Ow. Ow! Bloody hell, I'm taking some damage. And you'll see here, we've got the left arm. Now, you've only got 20 seconds when you get a limb to take it back to Kift. That is all. And as he said, you can only take one limb at a time. But the problem is, you still need to do a lot of kills because you need to get the chalice up, you know, and get enough, um get it full enough, so... bit of a problem. That and these guys hurt. Yeah, way to do it, just the one hit, and then just try and get away, because you saw the damage they do. Ow. Oh my god. You're telling me Kift was experimenting in humans? He's no better than bloody Umbrella! Just this is 19th century, and Umbrella were, you know, end of the 20th. But never mind. There we go. Now you'll notice we didn't get a limb there, and that's because he had the same sort of limb that um, someone else had. See, all the limbs you need to get are on various enemies. Like, see there, that's the torso. So you got to kill all these variety of enemies, and oh god. See, look, like, there's, there's, um, there's legs there. You know, you've got all sorts of things here. Oh god, we're going to get hit by a train! Got a shield, right. So, see, there's a leg there. 
Actually, I'll tell you what, folks, what we're going to do. Give the axe a try here. No. Fine. Be that way. At hammer, then. You just do have to experiment a bit to see what, what's the best weapon to get. Come on, you. See, some of these aren't as aggressive, but still. Right, so you've got the right leg. So we got to run this on backwards. See, we're already down to five minutes, you know. It's it's a tight level, as so you do not get a lot of time. But there we go, so there's two. And we've still got to get up there and get that chalice as well. So it's going to cut it fine. Right. We need something else now. Now, I believe the torso is... They're back up there, aren't they? Whoa, what the hell? They were up here, now they've just vanished. Well, we'll get some health. We might as well. I'll just think how on earth I'm going to do this. See, there were enemies... Ah, they formed... Ah, there we are. Yeah, you see these? Now, these don't have any kind of defence. But they do hurt. There we go. Right, so there's the torso. Which is the further pieces. Remember, of course, um, Kif's already got the head. So we don't need to worry about that. We just got to get uh, another arm and another leg. This is going to be one of the strangest tasks I've ever done in my life. I mean, quite unique. Right, so now if we head into here, take you to another little room, this. No, it doesn't. It just takes you back on yourself. Never mind then. Ow! I hate how they defend like that. I mean. Oh god, there's a few. We gotta kill this purpley one here. That's the one we want. On the left. Because we've the 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 sort of the white leg we've already we've already gotten that one. Or we can just get the other arm instead. That works. Oh, well, our chalice is full as well. That's pretty good. Let's right, so drop that in there. We just need a leg now. Now, you might be looking at that and thinking, well, how on earth are you supposed to get up there? Well, there's a way of getting up there, folks. It's quite cool as well, but albeit, no things considered. Now, what we need to do is we need to follow this up. And I think I've just realised, ah, uh, there is another bot there is still another body part we need, not just the leg. Oh, there's Spiv. Yeah, you need to follow this train check on, though. Be careful, because there's still trains going along. Oh, this is not easy. Don't like this. There's 50. And yoink. Chalice of Souls. Ow. Right, so with that done, we've now got to get hold of the um, last ones. Now, this purple thing needs to die. Because that's going to give us our um, our last leg. But I've just realised there's another body part we need. Which I keep forgetting every time that you need it. I don't know why, I just seem incapable of remembering. Right, so we get that there. Minute 30. Mm, not great. Yeah, you see, we've got that. But you'll notice like there's like some shorts there and they're a bit flat. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you can guess what we got to get now. You see that thing there? we got to kill that. And that will give us a bum. 
You saw it here first. You saw it here first. Oh god. And not with a lot of time to spare. Yeah. Here we are. Uh oh. Oh, well done, Professor. Hmm, we're doomed. Unless... What do you mean, unless? Are you kidding me? This ladies and gentlemen, welcome to fight. <laughs> Powerful promotions in association with the forces of darkness bring you to the day between in the white weighing the 280 pounds with a record of no fights and no wins. Dankenstein, Dankenstein, weighing in at 440 pounds with an unbeaten record of 40 straight wins. We're boned. Let's get it okay, I want a good clean fight. And the first one to get a knockout is the winner. Any lost limbs can be collected between rounds. Shake and let's fight. <laughs> yeah, folks. Boxing match. Now, before we start here, just to let you know um, that uh, you're wondering, well, what the hell are we supposed to do? Now, if you look at the bottom right, there is a little... Um, stand which gives you the instructions however for those of you who have got copy of the original game manual which I do it actually has the instructions of what you do then so allow me to educate you in the art of playing as well Dankenstein as you heard I mean what on earth well it's got to be one of the most bizarre mini games I have ever done this is rivaling tofu I swear um, right, so, basically, so these are the directions, obviously, moving, you know, around, obvious. Uh, X button is a low jab, um, where square is a high jab, triangle is a high hook, where circle is a low hook. Um, R1 to change camera position, L1 and L2 are high and low blocks, respectively, although that's actually a lie, it's the other way round. And the start is the pause, and if you do R1 and, and actually, there's a few other special attacks in there, I'll quickly show them off to you, so... R1 and square does that. R2 and square is like a little uppercut. And if you do square, or is it circle and square? Ow. Now, you can tell how he's going to box by how high his guard is. If he'll, like, he'll guard high if he's about to attack high, and he'll guard low if he's about to attack high, and so on and so forth. But this is not an easy fight. Ow! Bloody take my arm off, why don't you? Take a slap at him! Ah, I didn't get it. Now, from here, you've then got 20 seconds to, in order to get hold of any limbs that you've missed, or well, missing. My advice, get a gun, or a crossbow. And shoot them dead. is my advice. Do it that way. What the hell? <laughs> I know the crowd's approving of this. Right. Go on, slugger! Nope! Oh, that's a shot. Come on. Eat some of it! Come on! Ow! Got caught napping there. Now you've only got six rounds in order to take out the slugger, so you've got to be pretty aggressive. And go on the fact that you can uh, regain some health. Oh, right in the chops! Ow! 
And we didn't lose any limbs, so we just go straight to the third round. Oh, wrong on that. Nope. Oh, have some of that. Oh, he took his arm off. Good God. Is this an arm? What is that coming out? Is that like motor oil? What the hell? Ow. Oh, you have lost an arm as well. There's casualties. Is this in a leg? What is this? I've lost a leg as well. Good God, it's a war in there. Now you will find that these, they do have a tendency to, uh, if you go close to them, they'll like throw around these limbs. I'm just going to go to Spivy here. Going to buy some uh, some provisions, I think. Yeah, bombs, you see, quite expensive what, for what they are. Where's the other one? See, there's loads of, loads of them and you don't necessarily know where they are and I can't see it. Ah, I've lost it. I can't see it. Well, we're going to have to make do with one arm for this round. Look, he's got, he's got just the one arm and leg. <laughs> what the hell is that? Oh my god. Go for his legs, Fortescue. Ow. Oh, that hurt. And he's got no arms. He's bright for the picking. Have at him. Ow, I've got no arms. Headbutt him to death, Fortescue. He's got no legs. Kill him. <laughs> what in God's name? <laughs> Curse you. Curse you all. You think you've won? I'll have my day. And when I do, I'll... I'll... <laughs> <laughs> oh god. That has got to be one of the stranger missions in video game history. A boxing match. I mean, that's brilliant. You gotta love it. <laughs> oh, grief. You don't do that nowadays. Uh, what the hell? Why is there blue war down there? <laughs> Strange. Anyway, let's see what we got for the chalice for um previous I've one. Done a little work on your sword. You should find this a whole lot better. Oh. If it runs out, the spiv will be able to recharge it for you. Oh, mother of god, yes. Broadsword. Very nice. You'll see it actually replaces the small sword in this game. Doesn't small sword does not remain. You this replaces the broadsword uh, the small sword now. And yeah, just like in the last game, you can enchant it, and it will do more damage. A bit like the uh, the sword that's yet to come. Let's have a word of the professor here. Well, we won that round quite literally, didn't we? <laughs> but we're not out of the woods just yet. In fact, at this very moment, I'm picking up two areas of extreme psychic disturbance. One in Whitechapel, the other... It's like nothing I've ever seen. Uh, it's a pity you can't be in two places at once, dear. Professor, let me go. No, no, it's so dangerous. <laughs> well, if she's careful and comes back at the first sign of trouble... Wait. Sir Fortis... Dan, you freed me from my tomb. Do not imprison me in another. Ouch! I wish to see the world, to help in the fight, and I will be careful. Okay, Kira, you go to Whitechapel. Dan, you check out the other disturbance. You're not even going to tell me where the other disturbance is. You useless man. But Kira's volunteered to go to Whitechapel, apparently. Well... Oh. I, I praise her. I praise her. Uh, her courage. Is there anything more on this? No. My screen just flickered though because my fridge decided to turn off, which does make everything flicker. But never mind. Wolfram Hall. This 
This is the center of the psychic disturbance. It's a new one to me. All I'm reading is a great, malevolent, slumbering evil. Extreme caution as always, Dan. Oh, and before you go, you might want to use your head on some of those hands over there. Stand over the hand and use your head to see what happens. What are you talking about, Professor? Right, so we got these guys. Alright, so... Oh, that is cool! Look at that! I've got to control my own little hand! How epic is that? What in God's name? Oh, and you can still change back to your um, other form as well in this, but... Uh, welcome to the Dan Hand, as it is known, and it is a really... Oops, oh, head's been automatically returned, thank you. But yeah, you can, you know, put it down, and you can then pick it straight up, if, you know, and if you're that one, you can pick it up. Very handy indeed, but yeah. The Dan Hand, folks. More useful than you might think it is, folks, because... The thing is with the Dan Hand, is that... There's, um, you might have noticed throughout as we've played through the game, through several of the old levels, there were a few places where there were hands around. And the reason for that is because of the, um, there's certain areas which you were not able to reach previously. But with the Dan Hand, you can get them now. Um, and I'm talking like, um, sort of Kensington onwards. I don't think there's... There are Dan Hands in the museum, but I don't think there's a, that there's anything you can get in there. But I mean, like, from that onwards... You know, there are a lot of little bits and bobs um, hidden around. Um, which, well, I suppose I might as well go ahead and show you. I was going to do it, but we have to take a little bit of cutting. Um, but the first item we need to get is down in Kensington. So, um, I will meet you right there. Oh, god damn it, I keep forgetting! Ugh! Never mind. I'll meet you in Kensington, folks. Alright, so, first up is here at Kensington, the tomb. Uh, we're just outside it after me having, um, you know, just sort of made my way over here. Now, you want to head inside? Oh, not this again. Not all this torch rubbish. I bet that's just overwritten my bloody uh, enchant my sword, hasn't it? Oh no, it hasn't. Thank you. Now we have got some health here. Now, one thing that the developers were clever about is they thought people because you can replay any level you want, and I might replay like really easy levels in order to get loads of health. So what you do is a few things change when you replay old levels. One of which is that um, uh, health fountains like that only give about half what they normally do. And also, you can still collect the uh, Chalice of Soul, um, except if you do, and then you then take it to the Professor, you'll then get your whole hands on uh, some treasure. About 100 to 200 or something like that. Which is pretty decent, you know, so... You know, it's not a bad way of making some money. Let's die. Now, while we do that here, you'll see... We've got a Dan Hand here. Now... We can normally go that way, but you want to go... Ugh! Because you can now head through here. See that little hole in the wall? Yeah, you can head into here. And there's lots of bits and bobs here. There's uh, some treasure in here. If we climb up. There's some more treasure. And you'll notice how d um, we've got a separate... You, you've got 100 gold as it is. Oh, there's um, some health up there. I wonder if we can get onto that. Be um, do we need that? Not really, actually. But you see, it's like an own separate thing. Because if we now go back to here, 160, it's different. Oh, um, well, I nearly sneezed. Sorry. Um, and now we come back here. Uh, I, I do apologise for that, folks. Uh, sorry about that. But now. You can then bring up, put take the pad back on. You see our um, gold's now at 260? 
Yeah, folks. Um, and that is how you can uh, use Dan Hand. Um, and there's a few places like this that are just a little hidden away. Um, I might... Oh, I should really show you all of them. I just can't remember all of them. Right, so that's that one. So um, I'll meet you in uh, uh, the next one, wherever the next one is. I can't really think. Yeah, I'll meet you wherever the hell it is. Alright, so this is the next place we're going to go to. This is uh, back at Kew Gardens. I suspect strongly there is going to be uh, a, a head thing you can do either at um, the Freak Show or Greenwich Observatory. In fact, I think there is at Greenwich. Um, but A, a slightly can't remember, and B kind of can't be asked to look for them. Anyway, so we want to come back in here. I've already come and I've already saved these people. Um, just grab that. Yoink. And actually, while I'm at it, let's uh, you know, get the rain to fall. Why not? Now, down hand, so we'll get this um, going under here. Now, where on earth do you think we might need to go? Well, let's have a look. We can look in here. See if there's anything we want. Oh, there's uh, some money, which I can't get hold of. Ow. No. Come on. There we go. Got the whole of that. Um, but... No, it doesn't seem to be anything else down here. Because what you want to do... Is... Here. Here's your little slit in the glass. And you can wander on inside. Rescue four hands. Yeah. Little mini game here, folks. Pretty cool, this. Now... Remember, you've still got your health to sort out, folks, so you've got to be cautious and don't hit any of those. And, of course, be a bit of a labyrinth, really. You can't really see what you're doing much because you're so low down. So, just got to be a bit careful, a bit cautious. Uh-oh. And you see, now that hand will follow you. It's pretty cool. They will follow you indefinitely. They won't get... Like lost, or at least they shouldn't. Oh, ow! I was just gonna look at the statue. Right, second hand, I have a feeling could be over here somewhere. Whoa! Ow! Go on, Mr. Hand. Uh, ow! We got the money. And I think we got a second hand. Well, I can't actually tell. Oh, there we are. Yeah, there we are. We got two hands. Nice. Coming down there, so we'll head back on ourselves. <sighs> Some rats. Ow! Dare you attack me? There's one. Where's the... Where's the other one? Can we lose him? There he is. But you can lose him, folks, if you're going too fast. Well, I would have expected that, but... Meh. Right, so anyway, so that doesn't go to us. So we might as well go back on ourselves. There they are! God... Love the little hand statue, that is pretty cool, that. Oh, let me guess where this goes. God damn. <laughs> Sorry. Right, so. We hit on down here. Ah, there's hand number three. We lost another one. Oh no, it was there. They're just clipping onto themselves, so I can't tell. Great. And number four is there. There's all four hands, folks. So now with all, all I was about to say with all them in hand, 
That's not completely right, is it, folks? Now, I don't remember, do you have to take them... Yes, you do, yeah, you got to take them all in here. And for all each hand you get, and rescue, get yourself 50 gold! Well, or maybe that's for doing all of them, you get 150 gold, I can't remember. It's been ages since I've done this, leave me alone! But anyway, so there you go, so there's 150 gold there. Nice little mini game. Um, and if we find that, then we'll grab all of that. Right, so I will see you in a moment back in the professor's lab. And that brings us back here, yeah, as I said, here to the professor's lab. Um, no, don't do that. And sorry, my things being a bit silly. Um. But yeah, so that brings us back here to the uh, professor's lab. So I'll show you now if you bring the chalice. A previous chalice, I should say. Get yourself some money. Um, it varies wildly how much money you will get, but you can get up to about 200, which is pretty good. You see, we've got a lot of, uh, lot of money there. Not a huge amount of health, but never mind. Um, so speaking of that, we'll just bring us back with... Um, well, with uh, what... Kift already told us about uh, the next level, Wolfram Hall. Um, it doesn't look like the friendliest of places, and I'm going to be really honest here. This level is not easy, but not because it's hard. This really is a puzzle level. There, there is a lot of this sort of understanding what you have to do and then doing it. It is a very, very fiddly little level, this. Um, it's good, but it's just, well, a bit annoying, I suppose. Um, but that's where I'm going to have to leave this one, folks. So, um, yeah, we have to go and you know, we'll check out what this uh, disturbance is. Um, all from all in the next video, folks. So, um, so, yeah, take care, folks, and I'll see you in the next video.